it's no secret that I am a huge Charlotte Tilbury fan and this video is going to feature all the lipsticks from their range that I own that I have loved. I'm going to give you my genuine thoughts on the shades that I love better than the rest. Stay tuned for lovely review and swatches. Hi, I'm Partner Ganesh and I welcome you back to Joy Geeks. This is where I create tons of lipstick swatches, fashion, skincare, and it is Christmas time. I'm really hoping that Nika has an amazing sale and this video will be helpful to you. I got tons of uh, Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks in the Nika Pink Friday sale and I did share it with you in the Nika haul. And today uh, is a dedicated video to express my love to Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks because it really deserves that. I'm going to take you through the shades with a lot of luxury and with a lot of time. You can see the shades well. I will try to give you a lot of variety in the shots so you can make up your mind if at all you decide to get these. Before I even get on with the swatches, if you want me to give you a quick review, let me tell you that these are expensive lipsticks especially because in India by the time it comes it gets a little more expensive which is why when we buy during sale time it reaches closer to its original price that you get in UK which would be about two and a half grand I think or yeah something like that but when it comes to India it crosses 3000. If you really ask me if this is worth it, if you are in a space where you want to really feel luxury, you want to own luxury, you would find the amount you're paying worth it. Do we not have other lipsticks which are really good, which are made in India? I don't say so, but I will say that the Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks definitely make my lips feel extremely well taken care of. I know that these really do well in terms of making my lip feel and look nice. And I love the packaging. I love it. It's like more of a tushin, you know. It's just something you do. And honestly, I earn my right to buy these lipsticks. When I've done something which is really challenging and it's tough, then I make it a point that I know that, all right, I've earned my right to buy something which I would have thought was very expensive, but now I've earned it. That is how I go ahead and buy all of these lipsticks. Of course, I kind of overdo it a bit, but I always say that I need to create content. Now, after having said all of these things, let me tell you, these are not transfer proof. These are very, very comfortable on the lip. I do not think they are 100% matte lipsticks, even though they are called matte revolution. But uh, they are a comfortable matte is what I'll say. I, I, like the, I like the finish of this lipstick. I'm not complaining. It's not a powder matte, but at the same time, it's very uh, creamy on the lips without it feeling waxy or shiny. I think I've said enough about the review. Let me straight jump on. This is the first shade which is called First Dance. I just absolutely love how the packaging is. The normal packaging they have is rose gold. This is the normal packaging and this is First Dance. I was pretty tired of uh, this uh, packaging because then it's very difficult especially because you don't have stickers with the color code. So I prefer to have each lipstick with a different design possibly and that is what uh, these uh, lipsticks do. They have this um, crystals, you know, on, uh, in the entire outer space and the Charlotte Tilbury logo is there. It's there on the top. I just love the outer packaging and the box outside, of course, I'm going to hold on to it. It's okay. It's fine. But this packaging is really feeling very nice. It's a happy zone to be in. This is an everyday pink. I think that will suit across skin tones. It is a rosy pink. It's a very normal everyday shade that I'm sure we all already have, but it feels really good and I love how it feels on my lips. Now, if you look closely, this uh, is just one swipe and the pigmentation is not extremely, uh, you know, uh, solid in one swipe. But this is like three swipes and you can build up the coverage. So for a lip 
like mine i definitely have to build up the color because only then the color will show off solid the next shade is a brown shade called so 90s Honestly, I love the shade, but when I first applied it, I wasn't too happy with the pigmentation. I mean, I did tell you that you need to build up the color a bit, but for such a dark shade also when that happened, I wasn't used to it. So at first I felt like, "Ah, why isn't it so even toned?" And when I reapplied the color a bit more, the color looks much better. And I think that is true of uh, most of the lipsticks, but Eventually I really like the shade it has a tinge of red in this brown it's a dark chocolate brown so if you like the shade you can go for it but I will tell you that I I feel that uh, this is still a little bit uneven is what I feel even though I worked my way onto it if you see I mean I have reapplied it quite a bit but I feel that this could have done better than this because it's so expensive i expect it to have a more even finish i don't need to say that my review is going to be 100% honest right i am going to share with you exactly what i feel about the lipsticks the next shade is a shade called glowing gen i got this because it was jennifer aniston's uh the, she made it uh you know based on her so and i love the outer packaging it is this animal print it has a coordinated outer box this is called hot lips yeah they have the hot lips uh version of this and this is glowing gen the color is definitely a lot more suited to fairer girls but i personally also prefer these kind of light peaches on me so i love this But this is not supposed to be a matte lipstick it is definitely a creamy formula which has a creamy finish and a shine to it and I really like it. The next shade is a shade called Lucky Cherry. It is a bright red beautiful for Christmas. This is a cherry red uh, and i'm glad the name is close to what the shade looks like and of course i had to build up the shade for my pigmented lips you now but anybody with a clearer uh, lip will be able to wear this a lot easier but the good thing is when you don't want it to look you know very bright you can just put a little of it and be done with it and of course the packaging is mind blowing i really love this the crystals throughout this lipstick makes me feel so nice about having this with me i like the golden color better than this but at least i can immediately identify which lipstick this is so i really like this this is a shade called love liberty from charles tilbury this is a berry shade I really 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 like the shade because a it is far more pigmented. Secondly, I think it really suits my skin tone and of course this will suit across skin tones. This is one of the first few I had got. Love Liberty and Red Carpet Red were the first two lipsticks I got and then of course I slowly built my collection. I have mentioned in the past when I made other Charlotte Tilbury videos that Uh, I had gone to their boutique in Dubai when I was visiting, and I was completely in love with how luxurious I felt. The beauty advisors there were so wonderful, so well done on their face. It was just looking so well blended, and I and what she did on my face, I realized that these products really blend very well. So I am definitely uh, wanting to explore a lot more. with their more complexion products of course i love uh, the magic cream i love a uh, bronzer highlighter palette this is only a lipstick video so i'm going to stick to this but i'm just letting you know that my love for charlotte tilbury is from the experience also that i had in their boutique today i didn't put any uh, thing i just have a little concealer some thing going on my eye area you know just with eyebrow mascara a little sheen on the eye 
but I don't have any foundation on. This is just a powder on my face. So that, I don't know, I just feel, I think you guys enjoy this better. And even I love having less foundation on me. If you haven't subscribed already, please make sure you do. It just takes a second, but it means such a big deal to me to have more people join my community. It feels like you appreciate me and that my content is of value to you. So please do that and hit the notification bell so you don't miss a future post. And I will continue with the swatches. The next shade is called Karina Star. This is from their Hot Lips collection. It's a beautiful rosy peach color like you can see. Uh, I am NC42 and MAC uh, but I really like the shade. Some of you may not like this uh, but I like love in fact peaches and orange shades on me because it's very um, nude as well as it's very subtle and I really like to see this shade. So I love this. I think this will be wonderful on lighter skin girls as well. For very dark girls, I am not sure about this, but for me, I really like this. This is what the outer box and the inner box set looks like. I love, again, the way they have made the outer box is very unique. I really love the stars on it. I feel it looks very special. I will be adding the details of all of these products in the description box. So you can go check that out. And the link is an affiliate link of Nika that helps you to get to the product immediately. And uh, Nika, uh, the platform gives a little kickback to the creator who's, uh, you know, showcasing the shades and uh, getting them to Nika. That's just how it works. The next shade I am going to show you, two shades, is the iconic Pillow Talk from their range, which is what really got everyone crazy. But I want to share with you the swatches first of this. This is the original Pillow Talk which is beautiful for very fair girls and what i got eventually is pillow talk medium and i want you to see the difference between the two shades so this is the original pillow talk you can see how pale pink this is looks lovely on fair girls and this is pillow talk medium more suited to uh, skin tones closer to me pillow talk original i got as a mini lipstick which i was happy with because I was pretty sure Pillow Talk was not suited to me better. It's such a tiny cute lipstick. It's a really pretty nude pink but just look what it does to my skin. It's literally just my skin and no, I want a lot more. So I will show you what Pillow Talk medium looks like. This is meant to be a neutral lipstick and it is. So Pillow Talk Medium is safe for all skin tones. If you want a really neutral, muted pink, you should go for Pillow Talk. But Pillow Talk Medium is for a little more color, a um, little more brown in it. Uh, but still, for very dark skin girls, I'm not sure what this is going to do. That may look like how Pillow Talk looks like on me. So till my skin tone, I think Pillow Talk Medium looks Fabulous. The next one I have is Charlotte Tilbury's Lip Luster that I got three of as a bonus to what I shopped and it is a gloss, it is a luxe color rich lip lacquer. I've got all three unfortunately in the same shade, it's called Candy Darling and I want to show you what this looks like. This is the outer packaging and this is what, how luxe this looks, I love the size of it. I love how this looks, but I thought this is going to look like a red shade. I want to swatch this to you and just show you how this looks. Where should I swatch? Hmm. Do you see this? It's glossy, yes, and it's very, very light pink. Nothing like the red that you can see on this. Now, I'm going to apply this on my uh, lip that I already have, Pillow Talk Medium, and I'll also show this without any shade. That works, right? So, I'll just dab it on. It does make the lip look really juicy, it feels nice, it's not too sticky. So I like this lip gloss. 
uh, would I have separately paid for this as much? I am not sure because I'm not so much into lip gloss, but I really like it. I don't know why this looks so solid red and it's very misleading if you had to buy it in person. So I'll just take off the lipstick and just have the lip gloss and it's going to come to you in a jiffy right now. This is what the shade is looking like. It has a little red tint to it, yes. But would I just wear it by itself? I'm not 100% sure, but on top of a lipstick, it's looking very nice. The next shade is Red Carpet Red. And if you look at the swatch closely, this is not a pure red. Uh, honestly, when I first got it, I was a tad bit disappointed because I was like, I wanted this deep red. And it is a beautiful red, but it has a pink tint to it. If you can see in, uh, you know, in, in I, I hope you can see that at least on me, I definitely feel it has that pink tint. Not that I don't like the shade, but if you're expecting a true red, this is not uh, going to fulfill that. And of course, this is not a matte finish. It has a little sheen that I'm okay with. None of these lipsticks are transfer proof, but like I said, I think it does something to plump up your lip to make your lip feel really good. I don't know what's in it, but um, I love how it feels on my lip, which is why I've gone on a spree buying these Charlotte Tilbury lipstick. All of these shades, if you ask me, I think the only thing I'm really disappointed with is this So 90s because you can see it's a little patchy. I don't know why, but I love all of these shades pretty much and I've shared with you exactly how I feel um, so that you don't have to go out there and get a shade and regret it, especially when there are some fabulous online deals. So uh, comment below and tell me which is your most favorite shade. I think I would like to send one of these to a winner, but make sure you comment which is your favorite shade. That's all you need to do. It's so simple and check the description box. I will be shipping this one lip luster to somebody special who has a comment and I would love to share this with you because I've got three of them now. So that is all for today's video. This is my Charlotte Tilbury lipstick. I have plenty of exciting content coming up. So stay tuned. Do share this with your friends and do not forget to hit the like button. That means so, so, so much to me. All right, you take care. Have a blast this festive season and I'll see you soon in the next video.